Hey guys, welcome to Red's Projects. Today, the bar is finally back on the hoist. We're getting our fuel system upgrade. Got my LS2 42 pound injectors, some rails made up for it. Um, had some the seats welded in the manifold. This is the old manifold of the other engine. Got gauge, fuel pressure reg, bunch of fittings, connectors, all that sort of crap. So all I gotta do is rip all this junk off so I can get to the lower intake manifold, swap it over and start setting stuff up. So no stuff around, let's get straight into it. Okay, manifold's off. Got a little bit of cleaning up to do. Might vacuum some of that shit out of there. Got the two manifolds side by side. So that's the one that came off it. I put the rail injectors back on. That's with the side feed injectors and then the top feed LS2. So I uh, bolt the manifold in, get that all sorted. And then I gotta shorten the rails and tap them for fittings, so I've got to sort out all the plumbing for it, but yeah, show it back together in no time. All right, manifold's back on, radar's back in, hoses are back on. Um, I've just been playing around the last hour or so, um, working out my lines and with the rails and stuff. So this rail, I'm gonna have to shorten a little bit on this end, a little bit on the back end. This one, I have to shorten the back a little bit just to make things nice and make the lines run nice. And got my fuel pressure regulator, which I'm gonna mount up here. So I need a couple extra fittings here and there just to make things nicer and tidier. So um, this is all I can do at the moment. So we'll carry on tomorrow. Alrighty, day two. I shorten the rails. I've threaded the ends, um, put fittings in the ends, done some um, basic plumbing, mounted them. They're 100% mounted now. Um, I need some tidying up this, I think, get a longer piece for there from the filter to the front. The, the back's pretty much done. Got the regulator just sitting there. I'm about to just um, pressurize it and see if I have any leaks, which it wouldn't surprise me if I do. So I'll sit you down like that. You can watch the gauge. Oh, I've got a leak. Oh, back injector's leaking. All right, well, it's getting a little bit late, so I'm gonna call it a night and um, we'll work on this tomorrow. So I'll see you then. 
Alrighty, I'm back. I've had a couple days to think about what was going on here and came to the conclusion that the holes I drilled in here were just a touch too big. So fuel was getting pushed past the O-ring. So I went and bought a, another length of rail, chopped at the size already, it's all marked. I bought um, a new drill bit that should be bang on the right size. So I've got to do a bunch of drilling on these, tap these side holes, drill a couple different size holes in them, tap the ends. So I'll quickly smash all that out, put it back together, see if it leaks and hopefully have this thing running by the end of today. So stick around. again i finished tapping the rails put my fittings into it bolted them up um, these ones did feel a lot tighter the injectors going into the rails so i'm hoping um got no leaks this time so i'll sit you down here you can watch the gauge and we'll see what happens Look at that, they even held pressure this time. What are we at? 42? Alrighty, so we're not leaking this time. So, I guess I just gotta slap it all back together now. I'm a little worried these plugs, they're a little close to the head, but um, I'll see how we go. Anyway, I'll slap this back together and hopefully we'll have it running soon. Alrighty, we're all back together, I've got water in it, everything's hooked up, nothing's leaking. I've plugged my laptop in and told it the bigger injectors, so let's see if it starts. Well, it's running. a bit of stuffing around um, just tweaking a little bit I got it um, idling a little bit better around the 14.7 to 15 mark so I need to drive it a little bit to um, fine-tune it as such but uh, before I do that I'm going to put the bigger fuel pump in so do that 
double check all the, the fuel pressure and stuff and then I'll um, drive it around a bit and just make it drivable and do what I can but once that's done there's a couple other things I need to get and then I'll be put, getting it put on the dyno and getting someone else to tune it that has experience with this sort of stuff so yeah hopefully you should be making some good power soon so that's it for this episode thanks for watching I'll see you next time